Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no ball video. Today's video is a review of High Zero Bionic Mop. That's the latest model, which is uh, 803. If you didn't see my video uh, about unpacking, I post link uh, above and there a bit of explanation what's the difference between 801 previous model and 803. And also, if you like un unboxing, that's your video and reasons why I bought this one. And just quick reminder, uh, I don't mind mopping. Um, the reason why I bought this mop is because I've got uh, inside close to 120 meters square meters of tiles. And I've got outside patio, which is probably another 20. And mopping all that uh, space, it's just a big chore. And also it's inconvenient, it looks, uh, takes a long time to dry, and results not always consistent. So uh, I started researching different brands like Coucher, like uh, uh, Biso, and High Zero came as a highly recommended. And I bought one, and here's the review. So, first thing first, what I would like to explain, I did unboxing, and there were no surprising. And at the moment, I look at this appliance, and to me, it's almost like uh, its own niche. It's not trying to compete with anyone. It's almost like a Tesla of the cars or Apple of the phones. You don't have to like it or hate it, but it has a value proposition that no one else uh, brings. And if it's your thing, I think that's a really good appliance. If it's not your thing, I explain why it might not be. So I got my first impressions, so I start with first impressions and then I continue with the cleaning abilities and what to expect and my impressions about this appliance. So first of all, I did not get paid for this review, I'm not affiliated with High Zero. I'm more than happy to answer your questions, but just remember, I'm not interested in this brand or anything about this, I just chosen it because every, uh, almost every single review about them was a success and that's what I wanted. So, I would like uh, to start my review with explaining uh, what is good, bad and ugly about this particular mob. But before I start, uh, I would like to say that my videos are uncut and edited, but today's video will comprise out of multiple videos. It will start with me explaining about the mob, why uh, again I bought it and, and how to assemble it. Then, while I'm here, I will kind of guide you through good, bad and ugly uh, by mopping my uh, house, which is 120 square meters. And then uh, we'll probably move to live demonstrations, with, which is my patio. And that's the most important bit. If you really, uh, after some challenging task and you're allowed to see what's going on, I think patio is the way to go. And the reason is that because patio is an outdoor space. There's a dust, there's a soot, uh, and there are a couple of items that I did move for a year. Uh, one of them egg chair, which you can see clear ring, I will show soon. And one of them is barbecue. And I think why this test is important, because unlike any other commercial testers, I don't do like spill water and clean or spill juice or spill yogurt. Those things are really easy to clean. And where mops are really useful, it's not clean just immediate spill. Immediate spill, we can take wipe and wipe it. It's where something was there for a while and you need to clean it, which is, you know, with normal mop, you need to scrub it and the sponge kind of disintegrates. Not happy place. And the flip side of it, you need to, um, I guess, pay for professionals to come and clean, but it's a different price point and you cannot do it every weekend or even every month. At least I can't do it. So here I am, I'm with this mop. Let's start with good, bad and ugly and if it's for you. And just remember, my reviews, they're unbiased, they're not paid for. And that's my personal opinion. Doesn't have to replicate yours, but that's mine. So why this mop is different from others? Because it's not really scrubbing anything. So if you take Karcha or Biso, they've got brushes, they've got like uh, microfiber rolls, they, they're scrubbing and everything. So that's great and uh, it's good for uh, things but it's not good for I guess the mop in the floor because those appliances leave a lot of streaks a lot of water behind and so it's a pretty resource intensive and that's why I bought this one did it lift to its expectations let's talk about it. 
So first of all, uh, you need to know that uh, it has uh, two moving parts, right? At least outside, because there are pumps inside and electronics and other things, but two moving parts. One is a uh, foam roller. Uh, sorry, there's a water from previous clean. Foam roller and there's a brush. So what it does, it has a quite genuine uh, um, design. So I'll quickly show what it does. So the roller, the, the sponge roller, sits kind of under the bucket and it goes on the floor. And first of all, before you start, you need to make sure that it's quite wet, not soaking wet, but wet. So it rolls and really picks up all the dust and particles and because of that uh, bucket, it kind of rubs on top with that rubber, sharp rubber on top, and flips all the particles in. So if you don't have to, time to vacuum, that mop is for you. You actually can go over the rubbish. It will not vacuum because it doesn't have any vacuum function, but it will pick up that rubbish and put it in a tray so you can empty the tray later on. So that's the kind of uh, mopping and uh, rubbish picking up part of it and then you got brush brush would kind of flick everything up and help that um, Sponge to do its job and basically collects all the hairs if you got animals or, or uh, you know Human hair or other bigger particles. So they're working kind of together uh, one kind of uh, Make it stick and flick it in and one make it brush and flick it in so while it's mopping exceptionally well, the first point that I don't like about this mop is it's uh, far from perfect in a sense of old, um, I guess, contamination. So for example, if you drop egg and you say, oh, I don't have to have to clean, and you come next day and it's solid, uh, it, it has problem to scrub it in because there's no scrubber here. So other appliances would be better. So if you got a lot of, I guess, solid, marks on the floor forget about it this mop is not for you it will do good job which is a job that means if your floors are maintained and you constantly would like just to make them perfectly clean it's effortless job it will do it but if you neglected floor for years and that's why i would like to run and party and see what it does there i noticed that i've got old chocolate stains the child dropped the uh, uh, chocolate lolly and walk on it and then stuck to the tile I had to scrub it off before mop can actually uh, clean the final marks. So my point being is the first negative part of it, which is not negative if you know uh, what you're using appliance for, the mop would not scrub anything that's stuck to the floor. So I guess uh, old uh, solid yogurt that was dropped in and, and, and dried or eggs or chocolate or other things that stick to the floor, it won't scrub. Second, of course, it won't clean your grout. Grout, you need temperature, uh, injection of water and chemicals, and extraction. It doesn't have a uh, second function. It doesn't have any, um, I guess, warming up uh, uh, water. So it uses like uh, room temperature water. So if you're thinking of cleaning grout or cleaning like neglected floor, this appliance is not for you. So that's the only negative side I can see. And other one is not really negative, but it was negative for me. Let me put the tray back in. And I hope you can see what I'm doing here. You're closing that cover. And it's not thick, but it's thick enough not to go completely under my TV unit. And as per design, there's a button on top. When you press it, it's a button that will open the cover so you can put brushes in. So what happens when it goes under the unit, Instead of just getting stuck and tell me, look, it's the wrong height, the button sticks out. So it's actually popping cover up. It's getting even more stuck and disabling all the electronics and stuff like that. So it was, um, it's not a complaint, it's just a warning. If you got into tight spaces under something, uh, <clears throat> be mindful how thick this unit is. It's not thick, but if it's thickness or of your height of the unit, you better probably not uh, mop under. And another one, you do need to clean cords and small towels and, and, and things uh, because of the stickiness of this row. It will pick up everything. It will eat, excuse me, all the cords and things that lose on the floor. So 
kind of a raging floor for cleanup is essential. Now, those seems like negative things, they're not negative, like if you know what you're doing, it's exactly what you are expecting. Let's move to positive things. So 120 meters of tiles took me probably an hour to clean well, right? It's rubbing, it's rinsing, and, and then probably half an hour to an hour with all windows open to dry floor up. So this appliance is extremely efficient. Uh, it took me, I think, 15 to 20 minutes to clean 120 square meters and the amount of water at least is so minimal by the time you finish the whole floor the first half of the house is already dry so it's very economical on solution so you don't spend too much time and money on solution and also uh, waiting for floor to dry and i did not have time to vacuum before it started it picked up all the rubbish beautifully and my floor looking really nice so i think that's the point when I had a bit of regret because it's quite expensive uh, uh, appliance. I had a bit of regret while uh, I was kind of understanding many people were happy. I was um, kind of hesitating. Did I spend that all that money for some of that luxury or it will aid me uh, in my daily or weekly routine? I can tell you what now I can see it using um, weekly or probably more than that. Uh, because appliance is beautiful, it saves a lot of time, effort, and I think I um, save in my time plus chemicals uh, a lot of money uh, in the long run. The appliance comes with two years warranty, which is great. Uh, also, the all electronics are quite intuitive. Um, took me 25 minutes actually to finish uh, mopping the house. And let's talk about battery life. So I'm not sure how long battery lasts. But for initial charge took me, I think, uh, three and a half, four hours to charge the unit. I, I don't think it was completely discharged, but that's how long it takes to charge it. After mopping my unit for 25 minutes, half an hour, or maybe 15 minutes, I, I don't know, between 15 to 30 minutes, I plugged it in, I went outside, came back, and the charger says it's full. So it doesn't use much energy at all. Also, uh, electronics are very convenient. There are uh, two tanks uh, behind it. Just let me unplug it. Uh, it's really easy. So the top one is solution that comes in. You press the button and there's a tank with solution. It's quite easy. The solution enough probably for 40 to 60 square meters, depends on your pace. So if you've got a small apartment, the whole tank should be enough to uh, clean the whole area. And the solution is quite economical. You get a sample here and uh, it's concentrated you need to dilute one cup of it in a whole tank here and i did three goes and i still got uh, only use that much so even for sample size probably enough me for um, i guess couple of months to use it and then you can buy big bottles from high zero now the exhaust tank is cool too and cool for the reason because of the whole cycle it's so efficient and effective this tank, tank same size as the uh, solution tank so basically when other gets empty that's when it gets full but it also has a uh, um, gauge here when it's getting full it tells you on the electronics the tank is full and you to empty and my floor wasn't that actually dirty when i started cleaning it but i got surprised how much dirt i found on a, on a dirt tank now because I'm not sure if you watched the first video, if you didn't, again, it's uh, in the link above. Uh, but if you didn't, I quickly show how to assemble things uh, before starting uh, mopping. So, first of all, if you have any solution left, like I did, I recommend to take this thing out because uh, to put the sponge bit in, you need to tip a plant. So if you tip in it with the solution in, the water may spill. So what happens, uh, you tip it out, I'm not sure if it's visible, you tip it out and actually let me open it. So you are taking the tray out first and then you kind of tip it and there's a motor where the driver comes out and this is how you slide the sponge bit. Just a reminder, the sponge bead needs to be not dripping, but soaking wet for it to work. 
Uh, so when it is, I still need to soak it. You kind of extract the uh, motor out, driver unit, put it in, and then clip it in, done. Then you flip it, put the tray in, it's easy, it just slides like that, right? And there's a motor here, I'm not sure if it's visible, for the brush. So motor here, you kind of slide it in and plug it in and close it. That's it. The unit is ready for function. Just uh, fill up the tank, plug it in and start on top with the, with the button. So that's uh, basically prep. What I would like to do next um, is show you what I've got there in the patio. I'll just quickly take my phone and I'll show what's there in the patio because there's a very challenging work there and I'm quite excited to do that and see if it's um, worthwhile, not only clean inside, but outside with that mop. So here, I'm not sure if, if you can see it, but the egg chair that is standing there, I just more, there's a ring around it. So I did move that egg chair for a year and a half. So there's a suit and other things uh, that actually accumulated under. So I would like to see if it cleans that. But I still believe that would be easier than cleaning this bit, which is, I'm not sure if it's visible, but that's a barbecue and maybe some little um, oil spillage or maybe just uh, all the uh, smoke and I know, the, from a barbecue. Uh, residues down there so it's more like greasy dirt and also you may see here maybe not as a my child was jumping on trampoline and came back and all the footsteps right here and here's a table with the chairs that I prep but as you can see even when mopping uh, it's really hard to get on the table and clean all of those um, I guess chair imprints so what I'm looking forward to and I try to make it uh, live uh, see if you guys can see how it cleans uh, my expectation that won't clean at all because it's not really scrubbing but I would give it a go and if it works well I tell you what that mop is just phenomenal if it doesn't I would get too upset because I don't mind scrubbing patio like once a month but house is 120 square meters, uh, really need that kind of uh, bionic mop or any other plants. If it cleans the patio, it definitely paid itself off because patio is the hardest to clean. All right, let me soak that foam and let's get going. All right, so I just fill up the tank, it's full. Uh, it's a one cap of solution and rest of uh, just warm water. I'll plug it in and we'll start going at that uh, circle um, from the egg chair. It's basically suit, maybe a little bit of uh, rust from the base. And um, I don't know what it is, but uh, it looks like solid and that was hard to do it with mop. Let's see if bionic mop can tackle it. And if it can, I will be really ecstatic. That's the first real test because inside the house, the towels are easy to clean. They, they've always been clean. Uh, there's not so much dust. So let's keep going and start with that one. So what we do, we press here and we climb it and then press button to start. And we do like forward motion, it distributes the water and then backward motion, it sweeps. Um, so let's see how we go. Wow. Camera closer, and I'll 
more sure what it's done. So, here, hold on, let me see if you can see it. So, I'm sorry if it's not quite visible, but here's the area with the suit and maybe a little bit of frost and imprint from the egg chair there. And here is the area that was cleaned by Mo. And it's actually spotless clean. I'm very impressed. So, a couple of other tests here. Let's do a barbecue, which is uh, almost pure oil. And maybe then we'll do something that I don't believe ever it will clean. It's a bird poo and things like that. Okay, let's get a barbecue uh, stain. A go. All right, barbecue stain. Right, that's a real life test. Because, you know, when people steal your stuff and like, really immediately, uh, it's not really a test. Uh, you would like to see something that, you know, in real life, really bugs you because it's still from a long time ago. And, and it's not just uh, an immediate skill of people. It is still a thing that bugs This one is, um, I can see the difference immediately. It doesn't feel everything the way I guess you want, but we can have a look for the product specification and let's have a look what it did. What it did. So mind you, that test is the suit, which is oil, and it actually cleaned it quite perfectly. There's a stain here, but I think it's actually a uh, stained tile because I cannot even clean it with a fingernail. Maybe it's imprinted because of something else. But as you can see, it perfectly clean all the oily bits for barbecue and tile is quite clean. So I'm quite impressed with that. Now, let's uh, try poo. That poo was there for a while, bird poo. And I don't think it will clean it, but if it does, I'm over impressed. Let's do this. Okay, recline, start. Let's go. Wow. Look, it's not immediately clean, you know. And mind you, it's very hard, dry poo. And I think if I maybe move a little bit slower, uh, I would be able to get it. Look, it's... Uh... Hold on. I think a couple more goes and it's done. I mean like yes, I'm deliberately staying on this stain here and trying to clean it. But even with a mop, you know, unless you scrub it with a knife or something, you wouldn't be able to dislodge it. Look, I think we look, I'm not kidding. It's hundred percent clean. It's hundred percent clean. Look, I'm I'm more than impressed. It's um uh, it's amazing result. So those things I even cannot clean with a mop. Look, no stain whatsoever. Well, if this is the case, guys, this little baby here, this little baby here, is exactly what you want and need if you're not cleaning grout and you're not scrubbing tiles. It's like they're really, really, you know, sold with something that requires scrubbing. If you just do general cleaning or extensive cleaning like patio, that is the way to go. I highly recommend it. So if you're in a market to buy something like that, yes, you got Karcher, you got Bissell, you got a couple of other things. This is your great alternative. Highly recommended. If you got any questions, please ask away. Otherwise, until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.